Hey, 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 beautiful people. Right now we're gonna look at drawing the mouth, okay? So let's get our, here's our map that we drew. And we've drawn a half a head, we cut the bottom, or we drew an egg, we cut it in half, there's the eyes, we cut the bottom part in half, and there's the bottom of the nose, we cut the bottom part into thirds, okay? And so that top third is where the mouth goes. And so all I'm doing is figuring out pupil. Now that looks a little bit wide. It does. You're right. We'll talk about that in a second. We'll fix that. So uh, straight down. I'm a little bit wide on that one. So your mouth goes corner to corner. Now if you're puckering or if you're talking, you've got to think about it like, like maybe my hands here. So here's corner, here's corner. But when you're opening, Hello, watch this and this come closer together because you're stretching, right? But your mouth is like that. It opens and it closes. If you're puckering, woo. So, so this is a relaxed state, but when you talk or when you yawn or whatever, this part comes together and then this part opens, right? You get that, I'm sure. Um, so let's do this on a separate sheet, mouth. Uh, you know my two cents about the mouth. Two, two. Well, uh, so you're drawing it from here to here. Girls know this especially. Boys just don't know squat sometimes. Really, it helps to look at a mouth. Now I've got a different lady's mouth here, there to there, than this one. Mainly because this little girl here has her mouth open a little bit. If you're drawing one like that you got to remember that she's got it open, so it's not truly straight down, but it's close. So what I like to do is I'll go in and I'll define this line where the mouth goes together first. If you look at this one, this little lady or girl, I'll do that line where the opening is first. That's a little bit off. I've got more of a curve. Now, in, in, in all honesty, this line is the darkest line on the mouth. Why? Because it's where two things go together. It's like your thumb and your finger. It's where they go together. It's the opening. So it's a cavity back in there, too. And so that line where they go, where they go together, that's the darkest line. So... You need to look at whatever mouth you're drawing, whether it's a specific person. And so this line is the darkest. Now, so the line, we'll talk more about that, where the mouth goes together. And then the top lip. Let's just say we're looking at this lady's lip. Or we can even look at her lip. See these two little pointy thing? I call them kind of mountains, right? But that's the muscle that opens and closes the mouth. So, and you can see this little indention here. I've got it totally wrong compared to that girl. But if I look at this one, actually I've got it wrong too. It, it kind of comes up and down. So let's go down. And then let's go up. Really, I hope that you look at some videos online because I, I, I can do mouths, and I, I do better by looking at images. So there's our line. Now let's draw this top part, this top lip. Girls especially usually have uh, thicker lips than boys. Now see how this one kind of curves and goes into this corner? And we're going to just... No. Oh. It looks like I've got more on this side than I do on that side. I'm showing you real life, you guys. I mess up too. I just practice. Uh -huh. um, and really, practice is what helps you get better. So I'm erasing that because that's how far, how much I want, how big, wide I want the mouth. Now this bottom lip. Uh, that doesn't look that good. This bottom lip, look at hers, for example. 
It looks like it starts a little bit over here, a little bit over here. But in reality, you know that bottom lip? She probably got lipstick on or makeup or maybe airbrush here. Look at how it, you can't hardly see a line there. Girls know about this. They outline their lips with, with uh, lipstick, different uh, makeup lip liner, I guess. I don't know anything about that other than what I'm heard and see my wife do occasionally. So we're outlining this bottom lip. Looking at this girl's here, um, maybe making this just a little bit. There's all kinds of ways to draw a mouse. This side is longer, and I don't mean to make it longer, but I've already got it there, so I'm going to just keep it and work with it. So now, so the line here is crucial. It needs to be darkest, darker, okay? But the top lip is always in shadow. Here's why. Light is shining down from above. Let's say we're looking at a side profile of a person's face. So here is... Let me draw this and I'll explain it. Uh, say that's their chin. So here's the mouth, okay? Right here is that top lip. Here's the bottom lip. So the top lip, and then this would be the nose. Or maybe the nose come out. Everybody's different, all right? So this would be the nostril. Boy, it's a honker, isn't it? But shadow is coming down. So because of that, light hits here. This part's in shadow. Now this bottom lip is always lighter. So no matter what you do, look at an image though. Look at, maybe there's some lines here. Everybody's different too. And as you get older, there's more lines on the lips too. But this top lip needs to be in shadow. If you can follow these simple rules that I'm giving you, it's gonna help your, your artwork or your images or your portraiture look automatically better. So I'm going to take my stump, I'm going to blend that. Now, a lot of times, depending on what you're looking at, there may be a little more shadow in this top lip. A little more shadow because, again, it curves. It curves under, right? Maybe it won't be as pronounced as I have it up here. This bottom lip is highlight or it's in light. If you look at this lady here, look at the highlight here. Even this side is lighter through here. So it's okay to put a little bit of shadow right here in the bottom part because look, it's curving back under here. So when you do that, and girls with lipstick and stuff like that. Now, if we're looking at this one, this left side of her face is in shadow too. So that's why that bottom lip on the left side is in shadow. All right. Now, if you look, see this part is in shadow. That's where people mess up because it's underneath that top lip. That part's in shadow. So when you're shading, if you shade this area here, it automatically gives that top lip. And it's not a beard or anything like that. It's just going to make it look. Look at there. So that makes the, the bottom lip pop out. So let, let's look at this one real quick. So look at how this girl has her little mouth open here. You have the top lip that's just darker because this one has highlight on it. It's in shadow. And then see the shadow underneath, underneath this bottom lip? It helps push this one out. Side profile. I don't think I've tore out any side profiles of any magazines. Well, here's a good, an example, and we could talk about how, see how the highlight's hitting this, and it's a side view. The top lip curves under, bottom lip is out and it gets highlight, right? That's a side view. Um, let me show you this one. Good example right here. Here goes back over all of our rules when drawing the eyes. Remember the eyes, five eyes wide, the width here is the same as width in the eye. The nose is this width in between, straight down. Corner of the mouth. Look at this top lip. It's darker than the bottom lip. Even though this bottom lip has some shadow on it, you see that highlight. A lot of times we forget that. Okay. So uh, 
the line here, if you have the time and you have a pencil that works. Oh, I just remembered I had a pencil sharpener. You guys don't mind, do you? Hang on there. I'm going to just sharpen this right here. I'll move that out of the way in a minute. So watch here now what's going to happen. I'm going to check, outline this oh, just a little bit. I love using a black coloring pencil. Now there's our, our mouth, okay? And it's outlined. Uh, I'm not going to add any more dark to that. Well now, if we're drawing whatever person we're drawing, we were looking at this lady's lip. So remember when we're put, putting our face together, we got to do the shadow that we see on the image we're looking at. So the shadow's on this side. I'll do this little bit. I'll go back in there and blend it. This part's in shadow. Use my stump. Well, boop. Just shading all that. We got to draw draw the outlines before we add the shadow. A lot of people want to jump straight to the end. Now look at that. Maybe just a hair more shadow right underneath there. All right. Well, so let's get our map of the face. Let's draw us a mouth on there. All right. And we're kind of using, yeah, almost done here. Kind of using this one as an example. So we're going to go in there with that top lip first. I'm just going to make it darker. I'm going to draw the outline and shade it at the same point in time. And I'm going to kind of use hers. Uh, I think I'm going too dark, but I want to cover up that mess I've got in now the bottom lip, just outlining it. I'm not going to add shadow on that bottom lip too much. And I'm going to just put some shadow underneath it. And see the shadow here on her chin? We're going to talk about her facial structure and uh, that's something a lot of people do first, and that's fine if you do that. So I'm going to go in and shadow that, shadow this, because this area is in shadow. So facial structure. you got to consider the person that you're drawing. Sometimes they have more of a chiseled or soft face, and that's the point where you go in there and you modify that egg. You take and shape the egg. You're a plastic surgeon now, and you're... So like, see that little bone that sticks out over here? You're gonna, so that same bone is here. That's why girls, I think, call this contouring. I'm just chiseling, plastic surgeon, right? Maybe this chin is just a hair longer than what I've got. And that's all right, that's the part where you go in and you modify. So now let's get our stump. This is not going to look exactly like this image. I don't want it to. I'm just trying to want it. I want it to look human-like. See this darker shadow through there? So I'm using that shadow that's on my page. And that side of the mouth is in shadow. And there's a little bit of shadow right through here. Now we, through using our pencil, the eraser very lightly there's some shadow right through here too a little bit and as we can remove a little bit of that maybe a little bit on that lip more and this cheek has some shadow now we got to go in and work on that eye a little bit I'm gonna be honest with you it needs some shadow through here it needs shadow up here we'll come back to this all right so there's our mouth on our on R. Maybe that top lip needs a little bit of erasing. I've got it pretty dark. I want to show you something. Before I quit and forget, top lip's in shadow and then this line where the mouth goes together. Outline that. Very thin, but when you do that with a black coloring pencil, you see how that popped? Automatically. All right, now I'm going to use that black coloring pencil right here, and I should have done that by now for the pupil. Now watch here. This top, 
eyelid too. Look here. Oh my goodness, automatically, maybe even outline just a hair there. All right. But look at the difference that pencil made when doing that. Thank you for watching. We're going to look at ears next. Have a good morning. See you in a few, tennis shoe.